Okay, we are going to start tuning. Um, this is a brand new fresh build, Beta Flight 317. I've done a few parameters already. I, uh, it's on PT1. The tune's relatively stock, it's not too crazy. Um, I, what else? That's kind of it, actually. Oh, it's VL LE32 ESCs. I didn't fuck with them in the configurator because I am dumb and I don't know how to like install the GUI. So we're just going to do it all real quick through the OSD and see how it feels. So this is basically stock PIDs, uh, anti-gravity cranked up and on PT1. Here we go. I have yet to fly this FPV as well, so this could be fun for everybody. Well, these aren't my rates, maybe. That feels close enough for now, okay. All right, so the first thing I kind of do is just little throttle bumps. It's actually not terrible. See how it's nodding a bit though, vertically? So that means I can, I can crank I term on pitch a little bit. Um, this is a little mini age frame, so it might need a little extra oomph on the pitch axis. So we'll come in and we'll fuck with I on pitch. And see how it kind of wiggles right there after a, after a little roll. So pay attention after I snap out of this roll to it kind of, to it not holding steady. See that? That little kind of weird bounce back shimmy? That's, uh, that's roll eye game. At that, that. kind of looks drunk for a sec. Okay, coming in. Okay, let's switch packs. So let's go in real quick. So, I term. Um, that well, I'm just gonna kind of blindly turn up pitch or P gain on on roll and pitch a little bit, just because I know I'm gonna want it higher. It just felt a little loose. Generally speaking, we'll get to that later. But I term on roll, that little wiggle after a, after a snap roll. This will help that. Let's go up to 51, 52-ish. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna turn D down a little bit. I should have done that to begin with. Uh, th that kind of helps you feel, helps me at least feel the, pit, the P term to kind of get a better feel of that. If the D's too high, then it's hard for me to really pick apart how, how highly I can crank P, if that makes sense. I'm a great explainer. Okay, pitch uh, or I term on pitch can definitely go up from that. That was that nodding at the beginning. Pitch D, God, 35, that's stock. And that was 28. Yeah, P, I know it can go up a touch. Uh, yeah, I. And yeah, I can stay, that can stay. Okay. Let's try that a little bit. I might actually switch props to mount one of these props. Okay. See how it, right away, that after a roll, it doesn't wiggle woggle anymore. Okay. So it's, see how it still nods a little bit? It's like the butt kind of sinks down. Watch the horizon. See that? It means pitch I can go back up a little bit. So let's just do that really quick. I can sometimes help with those little nods just to have more authority in general. P is nice. I think I'm going to switch props after this pack, actually. Okay. Okay, watch. I. A little better. That might be yaw at this point. Not that much. Not perfect, but you can kind of see the whole quad moving as a unit and not unless nodding on the horizon. Maybe, maybe I'm just making it up. Still a little wobble out of that. But 
I think that I'm just going to suffice to turn I up a little bit on both pitch and roll and a little on yaw when I come back and call I done. So now that I's done, we can really start playing with P and that's a lot about feel. The, the stock tune comes okay and it's just the, the thing that's wrong with the stock tune regarding P gain is that it's it, it just it's loose, right? It's not enough authority. So the, the really the best way to feel it out or the best way to tune it is to just fly it and see if it feels good. Uh, if it feels a little sluggish, like it's not responding very well, very quickly, um, or not quite doing what you want it to do, then keep cranking that P gain. Honestly, this feels pretty good. I could use a little more on roll. Just feels a little tired. Pitch feels good. Pretty good. Yeah, this actually feels pretty good, honestly. I think this rig's just a little heavy. Also, this VTX is pretty nice. Okay. Uh, let's just fuck with this one more time. Okay, so all that felt pretty good. I think I can tune roll P up a skosh. Just around those corners, it kind of felt a little, like it kind of wanted to sway. Like, like it was loose suspension, right? Um, so yeah, I'm going to turn roll up, P up on roll a little bit. I'm going to leave. I'm going to turn that P again up a touch. D, I'm going to leave. I didn't get any bounce back, really. Actually, I might even turn that down a little bit. In my experience, the more you crank up D, the more muffled the whole tune feels. It just feels like it's underwater. Um, pitch P, people a little good. I'm gonna crank it up just a scush. I can just come up a touch. Da 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 da. Turn that down a little bit because I didn't feel any jitters. And the prop wash is pretty much gone. Um, yaw is a weird one with pitch. Um, it shows itself in weird ways when you overtune it. So, I kind of my way of attacking that is every time I come down, I just kind of crank it up one or two. And if it acts funny, then I know it's yaw for some reason. It's a dumb way to do it. Okay. I'm turning it up a little bit too. Okay, that's fine. All right. What's going on? As you can tell, this is not planned or scripted at all, which is why it's kind of uh, not very linear, but this is just how I tune, I guess. After all this, I think I'm gonna get sick of these props and have to retune it anyway for uh, the dowels. These are those um, uh, 5048s from RTFQ. And they're actually nice. They're really smooth and they're really quiet, which is weirdly cool. Fucking ninja mode. So remember we uh, we tuned up everything just a little bit. Remember we, t we tuned P on roll, I on roll, D actually down on roll, uh, P, on I, P on pitch up, I on pitch up, D actually on pitch down a little bit, and we tuned Y up just a little bit. Because that's just kind of how I do yaw. It's probably the wrong way to do it, but that's just my dumb way. Ah, uh, pitch feels a lot better already. Starting to get a little bounce there from not having much, uh, not much P. <laughs> God damn it. Starting to get a little bounce back from not having enough D on that axis. So you can see a little bounce back maybe on, uh, not so bad. Actually, not so bad at all. It actually feels pretty good. Let's check for prop wash. <laughs> That's pretty good. This thing feels great, actually. Yeah, okay, so when I come in, I'm gonna turn D back up on roll a little bit just to get rid of that bounce back. Um, even though it, you'll never get rid of it all the way, and the way I tune, I like it to be a little under muffled so that you actually have to fly around that little thing, that little bounce back, um, oop, by feathering it, oop, like that. 
Um, so I'm going to turn uh, D up on roll a little bit. D up on pitch a little bit. Um, and then P back down on pitch just a touch. And I'm going to crank Yaw back up just a touch until that starts acting fucky. Oh, yeah. Why is my, why is that thing taking up like half the goddamn screen? Oh, that's what's going on. Great. Well, I'll deal with that later. Okay, so I think we went a little overboard on roll P. Ah, that's about right right there. I just find I'm gonna turn D back up a little bit to get rid of that bounce back. Pitch P, not too much down. And I'm gonna turn that up a little bit. And maybe just turn this back down to 70. Uh, yeah, why not? Um, dee -dee 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 -dee. Okay. Again, this is this is not gospel. This is not how everyone should tune. This is just my very non-linear, scatterbrain, piecemeal way of tuning. All right. Let's have a filio. Yeah. See how. Uh, Bounce back is almost gone. Or mostly gone. Gone enough for me. Yeah. Feels pretty good to me. Whoa! Good to me. I'm not in love with these props. I'm just gutless. I'm not gutless, I just have nothing down low. Which is where I do all my things. This feels pretty good. I'm happy enough with this tune. Except for that little bounce back. I'm happy enough with it to, to move on. Could use a touch more yappy, I think. Got a little solid before you perch, what do you say? Let's break this brand new build. Never gets old. Okay, that's a rough and dirty three pack tune. 